This is my partner's small plant collection, and because of these windows, she's been able to grow this monstera that is quickly outgrowing the size of my own plant. Yes, I'm jealous. Unfortunately for her plant, she's moving and leaving those giant windows behind. She's moving to a new space with much smaller windows, blocked by an enormous tree. With reduced light, the newest leaves are gonna lose their size and their fenestrations, but we're not about to let that happen. The biggest thing holding you back from growing a huge monstera is light. You can either use grow lights or have floor to ceiling windows like this to get your plants to an incredible size. If you can't get enough light in your home, you need to supplement your light with a grow light. With high light, you can grow better plants bigger leaves, and have more developed root systems. Supplementing your plants with grow lights is one of the simplest ways that you can achieve the growth that you actually want without needing those gigantic windows. Soltec Solutions reached out to me and sent me this aspect grow light to test out. And while they have different grow bulbs and a track lighting system, this pendant light is the light that I would have picked out to get the job done and look great in a space. Of course, the move had to happen during a heat wave, so I moved all of the plants down to the front entrance and I was going to move everything at once into their air conditioned limo. You got a limo to move hmm? plants? Okay, it was a U-Haul van. Everything was in the truck, secured, and ready for their safe drive to their new home. Now while we're in the chaos of unpacking, a high priority for me is to get this grow light installed as soon as possible because I don't want the Monstera to lose any more daylight. And because her plant is so huge, this light actually needs to be strung pretty far from the wall to be able to hit the plant evenly. I decided to go with our Arteta wall mount. This thing comes out just under 16 inches away from the wall. So I think once that's set up, it'll be the perfect distance for her Monstera. Because of where she wants to put the plant, we need to drill directly into the drywall. Thankfully, it comes with these drywall anchor plugs. Usually one of these is weighted to carry around 20 to 25 pounds. It has four of these and the Aspect Grow Light is actually under four pounds, so it should be perfectly sturdy. And one thing to note with this wall mount, before you do any drilling, it's really important that the cord is strung through this channel because otherwise once it's into the wall you won't actually be able to get the light through. After marking out the height that she wanted and screwing it in, the install is pretty much over after that. You'll want to install these fair leads to help manage your cables into the wall so that everything looks neat and tidy. The biggest question people have is how far away should the light be from my plants? Thankfully you can refer to this care guide which was really really helpful. It has a ton of common plants and it tells you exactly how far away the grow light should be for optimal growth. Because I got the large light, the suggested height is 48 to 60 inches away. But since this Monstera is so mature and used to getting extreme amounts of light, I'm pretty comfortable with having it a bit closer than that. After this install, my partner is really, really happy with the look of this light. I love the look too, but I would much rather have her Monstera right here in front of the window, but apparently needing a couch and somewhere to sit is a higher priority than her plants. She also did not like my suggestion to let the Monstera sit on the couch. Now, while there are a ton of great choices out there for grow lights, a huge portion of them are industrially made for commercial growers. So unless you're able to hide something under a shelf, they're not going to blend in with your decor. One of the most common questions that I get about lighting is how do I know what's low, medium, and high light in my home? And I actually encourage you just to completely ignore those tags. Most of your indoor plants want as much sun as you can possibly give them. So focus on the plants that you want to grow the biggest and best and just slowly move those towards your brightest window, giving them more light over time. Honestly, all you need to do is watch for signs of sunburn and you're good to go. It's been about two weeks and my partner is absolutely loving this light. We have it on for about 11 hours a day and we've already noticed that the leaves are pointing upwards towards the light. But how long should you actually have a grow light on for? My philosophy for giving your plants more light has always been to do it slowly and gradually over time. I have the same thoughts about grow lights. Now usually I use Wi-Fi outlets, but I do really like that this came with its own auto timer. Each notch is a 30 minute interval, so over the next couple of days, I'm gonna be increasing the light exposure by about 30 minutes until I can push it up to around 14 to 15 hours a day. Of course, I'm gonna be monitoring for signs of sun stress like discoloration or burned leaves, and if I see any of that, I'll just scale back on the amount of time. I really need to keep pushing it with this grow light because I know how much light this Monstera is used to in its old space. With a five year warranty and this light being rated for 30,000 hours, I have no worries about this light lasting a long time. If you look right here, this Monstera has actually pushed out a new leaf. This plant has two stems and this is actually from the smaller of the two stems. The way I tell if a Monstera is getting enough light is by comparing its newest leaf with the previous leaf. 
you have to look at both the density of the fenestrations as well as comparing it to the final size of the leaf. So when I look at these leaf sections here, I can see that there's two sections with four fenestrations and two sections with three fenestrations. When you compare that with the last leaf, there was only one section with four fenestrations and no sections with three fenestrations. Most of them either had just one huge one or two pretty small ones. Now you do have to wait until the leaf fully unfurls, hardens off and changes to its dark green color. During that time when it's bright green like this, the size will actually continue to increase until it finally hardens off. So we can't really fully compare the two leaves until then. The truest test will be to see how the next leaf comes out from the larger of the two stems, but I suspect we won't see that leaf for another couple of weeks. I actually did decide to wait an extra few weeks and oh my goodness, this next newest leaf is absolutely gigantic. One thing I did notice is that this section here has seven inner fenestrations and it has a bunch of sections with five fenestrations. There's one, there's two, there's three, and when comparing it to the last leaf, huh, comparing the new leaf to the last leaf, it's absolutely no contest. It only has a few sections here, here, and here with five fenestrations, but it's not even close. No contest, this grow light is absolutely doing the job that it needs to. Now, while my partner planned for this move, I knew her Monstera would not have the same light. So I had showed her a bunch of different grow lights and grow bulbs, but the answer was always, I don't like how that looks until I showed her this light. She loves the look, she loves what it's doing for her plant, but most importantly, and I think the one thing that a lot of people overlook is the warm color temperature on this light. If your grow light isn't purple, it pushes way too close to that almost clinical white, and I just don't think that looks great in a home. Soltech Solutions was kind enough to offer my viewers 15% off if you're thinking of getting this light for yourself. Click the link in the description and enter the coupon code KTP at checkout. Like the video if it was helpful and consider subscribing. See you next time.